lawmakers certainly are aren't as ingenuous and they say one thing publicly and they'll privately acknowledge another thing. But I think when you go to these rallies, and I've been to more Trump rallies than you can count on one hand, uh, or many hands, that you see it. They really believe it and they really do listen to him. And so when he continues to push this and push this narrative about President Biden, uh, I do think it gets through to them. Congressman, how do you explain that? I mean, I think we were seeing some Republicans who... Hi, y'all. How is everybody? Hi. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, y'all. Hi, Ash. How are you? I don't know if you can hear my brother scream, like, singing in the shower, but... <laughs> so, I, um... Yeah. Oh, girl. So, I... I've been... I was in the ER with my mom for most of my day. Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. Oh, is she okay? Hold on, I'm sorry. Um, I hope everything's okay. Um, I, uh, my mom was in the ER. Well, she's in the hospital now. But, um... They had to transfer her to a, um, a bigger facility um, because the, the cancer in her brain, she now has another tumor like on her, like by her optic nerve. So the swelling in her brain is causing like complications and the hospital here is not equipped to deal with it. So... Yeah, uh, I have an ex-boyfriend that lives in Jersey. He brought me coffee and dinner, which I didn't really eat, but the hospital is two hours away. My little sister is, is there with her now. So, like, we kind of switch because they're so young. So, like, somebody has to come home and, like, deal with dinner and, like, feed the animals. So you know what I'm saying? So I came here since I had been there all day and um, my sister will probably stay overnight. Yeah, I, it's just different than what I'm used to at this point, you know what I mean? Because he's just been awful for the past year, so, you know? That sucks. I did, so I joined with an agency, so I have to kind of do this every now and again. Because I normally don't use TikTok for my lives because the second I open my mouth, nerfed. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was nice. It's, it's, it's a lot. But I asked the doctor, like, why does she have to be transferred? Because it is, it's two hours away. And uh, he said, well... So she's she's had some swelling in the brain that caused, you know, some issues to begin with because of the tumors. <clears throat> Hi, Jeff. So now she has another tumor, and the what made us go to the ER was she was exhibiting, like, pre-epileptic behavior, and she hasn't had seizures yet. So we went, and, and they said that they were they felt more comfortable transferring her because, um, you know, like they could give steroids to decrease the swelling, but if she needs, you know, some type more, right, intervention, they can't do it there. This hospital is like really small and like, I personally hate it, but you know, it's where she lives, you know? So it sucks, but, um, it sucks, but it's the way it goes. You know what I'm saying? It really sucks. But it was nice to, uh, you know, I don't really, I mean, my appetite is, is just shit lately, you know? So it was nice that I, I almost called you, blah. Yeah, it's it's been fun. So I'm just like, I don't even think she's there yet because they have to transport her, um, you know, in an ambulance. And I know that that takes time because it's far. It's not like around the corner. It's closer to Philly, really. 
so that'll be fun, you know? So it's just me and my brother tonight, and we'll probably just watch a movie or something. I'm shot because I was there damn near all day until it was time to leave, but I have to keep certain things in place. And even though I did the YouTube live yesterday, I have to be on TikTok. So here I am. Christy, I love you. I meant to I meant to call you today, but I, I've been so it's just been nonstop all day. And uh I know Charlene too. I meant to call Charlene last night after my live, but I got off my live and I was legit like passed out within like a half hour. I know I missed a bunch. But uh you know. I've been meaning to play with my uh settings a little bit. Uh, I want to add some, maybe I could do that while I'm here just to waste some time because I got to stay on here for about 20 minutes. I know, I know. And and I know that I really suck these days with, uh, you know, like keeping in touch and, and, and it's just, it's difficult. And until like my life slows down, it just is what it is, you know? Um, but I, I don't know how to, to, I've never had to use comment filters and I really want to put a name in my comment filters, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Like it's not, it's not anything personal, you know, it's just right now. I just don't have the time. Like I, I vote. Hi, Chrissy. I wrote down to call Charlene yesterday after my live and I completely, I, I just forgot. Like I literally got off my live, washed my face and like passed out, you know? No, I don't, I got, I want to do it on YouTube though, Ash. How are you feeling? I just want, um, you know, um, I just don't want anybody, uh, Granted, not many people do, but, you know, just to be safe, because I just, just go for it, you know? Oh, do you sound bad? So I do that, Jen. Like, one of the things I'm best at is compartmentalizing, right? Like, and I think that's why I was able to do what I did around here for so long, was because I just separated everything you know and i do it in my real life too i'm just really good at like ignoring things that really don't matter to me you know what i mean but i do need to um you know i i just assumed that you know i'll deal with it you know you know when you tell yourself later 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 like after she passes I'll have all the time in the world to deal with it, you know? But right now, like, I don't have a choice. It just, I, I'm i in, like, responsibility mode, I guess you could say. Where, like, it just, I just, oh, Ash, I should text you, actually. You're going to get a kick out of something I got in my email. Um, I just, like, I don't know. I just, like, I'm really good at doing that. But, like, if it builds up for too long, I wind up in a really bad place. And, like, right now, I just don't have time. You know what I'm saying? It's just, like, everything is just, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. But once, once, hi, Katie, how are you? Um, once she passes, obviously, I would have, and, and that's another thing, too. You know, I'm, I don't know who was in my live and who wasn't in my live yesterday, but I was talking about her cat that had to be put to sleep, right? And how that was the sad part, because it was like my cat, you know, like my mom's cat, and, and to hear my mom say, oh, she's just like me, she can't see, she can't hear, and she's got cancer, and like... I really try to let her express the way she feels. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that it's important for her too. But like, God, it just makes it, you know? We were talking about it yesterday, actually. 
Hi. Um, we were talking about it yesterday, and, like, I just... She was like, maybe we'll just put, a, like, a tabletop tree up. Maybe I'll do it while she's in the hospital, because maybe that'll make her feel a little better. Hi. Right, like, I don't think it makes it any better when you know it's coming. You know what I mean? What video? Right, and, like, I don't know. I think that I think that there's pros and cons to each side of it. You know? I don't know. Uh yes, I saw it. I don't think so. Right. So like well, I think that because like I knew when my dad like when when it spread to his spine, like I knew it was coming. You know what I mean? Hi, Charlene. I was just talking about you with ears ringing. <laughs> um, I think that it. Hi, Viv. I think that it gives you a chance to say all the things that you you want to say. You know, but like in this situation, like my siblings are so young. You know, just sucks. You know? Yeah, I'm good. I just, so I joined with an agency, so I have to do TikTok lives, right? And we all know how I feel about TikTok lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no, that's terrible. I, I think that, so like my mom wants us all, yeah, so now my page is protected. I am, I'm the oldest. Yeah. So, like, where, like, everybody else is still living their lives. You know what I'm saying? And my entire life was cut short. And, like, I had to deal with this. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I just get, you know, TikTok doesn't seem to like me. They might like me now that I have an agency, though. Right. It protects my page. Meaning this will probably be my last page, y'all. I could get it to you, Ish. I'll get you the info. Right, and like, it is. And, and like, I do most of it. You know what I mean? Like, they work, they go to school. Um, so most of it does, and, and I understand that that's the case too. Yeah, I have to be good. <laughs> but but I've been good. You know what I mean? I've I've been pretty good for a while now. I post all the bad shit on YouTube, TikTok live, so like, oop, hi Mid a mom, I haven't seen you in a while, right, like, and, and I don't know, like, who, if people watched my lives last night, but like, my live last night, I'm sorry, I, um, I'm just tired of it, really, you know, like, I just want to move on, and, and, different shit i i for a second um thought about uh posting about izzy again but i don't want to get sucked back into it i really don't and like right now it's just you know right and like i i have to do that hi lady eyes how are you you're good i see it christy you're good Right, and, and I, but God of Sarah, like, I think that that's how I was last year, you know? Like, I think that last year, it was, this, this past year, in general, has been really eye-opening for me, you know? And, like, right, and, and I know that, like, some people... <laughs> Stop it. Some people don't... And, and that's another thing, too. Like, there's a lot of things that... I don't know. I just feel like it was wasting my potential. You know what I'm saying? Same, girl. Same. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm just... I'm just done with it. You know? Even with, like... And I know I, I wanted... Hello. I know I wanted to... Um, to, to film stage today, but I got distracted with it, you know? 
So, yeah, I have to. So, there's certain things that, like, I have. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's an understatement. <laughs> right. And, and, like, I would just rather start fresh. You know what I mean? Like, in every aspect of my life. You know? If. I'm, I'm telling you, right? It's. <laughs> same <laughs> like what's coming next you know what i mean like what else could life possibly throw at me <laughs> well right chrissy and like again i i know that like i have different audiences here and like youtube but like I, and it, it really is like my mom don't <laughs> My mom getting sick really did, it just changed everything for me, you know? And I don't, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, you know? I think that there's more to life than what I've been allowing, if that makes sense, you know? Hi, how are you? I'm looking for chapstick, I'm sorry. Um... I'm just totally over it all. Right? You see, isn't it crazy? Uh, yeah, for now. For now. I'll be once after she passes. Hi! <laughs> um, after she passes, I will, I will go back to Florida, but I will not be in the same place. You know? Thank you, Kelly girl. Um... I don't like the cold, y'all. Like, I am fucking suffering here. I am suffering <laughs> here. Hi. Um, I have to, I think it's, it's like, I gotta stay here for like 20 minutes. So I figured it was just, uh, you're always welcome to come with me. Um, I hate the colds. I can't take it, you know? I just hate it. So I do plan, uh, it's like a reddish pink. It's like, I'm telling you what I'm going to do, though, y'all. I am not cutting it this time. Yeah, my North Face, it's it's my old jacket. Um, Because when I moved, I left most of my winter shit here, right? Because my mom is terminal. She, yeah, she won't. Um... I don't, I think that, I'm telling you, I meant to read the MRI reports from today, and she, she was reading them, so I heard, like, the gist of it, but I didn't read it yet, yet, I'm sure I'll get there, but, um, we were trying to get them forwarded to her oncologist, because, so the place that my mom was getting, like, chemo and radiation and all that other shit is in New York, right so there's like a a, a a what's it called a, a disconnect there you know what i'm saying they don't automatically get the records we have to just get them to them you know so this place just is awful y'all awful like my mom was you know reading the the report because when we went in so she had pneumonia a few weeks ago and it was like she she was in the hospital and then she got better and and then she came home and then she kind of relapsed with it a little bit but the hi um but with the brain so the problem with the brain tumors is that she has a lot of edema there's a lot of swelling in there so she gets different complications with different things you know what i'm saying but for about it's probably been like two days maybe um she's been saying something's up with her vision right but she doesn't have good vision to begin with um but then this morning when she got up she was like real like twitchy and, and stuff so i just brought her in and i mean the the tumor being pressed up against her optic nerve would absolutely cause differences in vision right so it's it's just i think that cancer itself is unpredictable right um but when you have brain cancer there are so many different 
it's just a different world, right? Because she wasn't a candidate for surgery, right? I know, and, and, and I appreciate y'all. Um, she wasn't a candidate for surgery in her lungs, and then it metastasized to her head. And my dad had brain cancer. He fought brain cancer for two years, right? But he was able to have the surgery and have the tumors removed. My mom has never been a candidate. She she isn't in, in as good a physical health, I guess, as as my dad was. And and it it's crazy, Chrissy, honestly. And like, you know, this is I should do that actually. That's a good idea. I should do that. Um, you know, like it's crazy how it is it is no she is home she is home we're actually still waiting for hospice care to come in but let me not get started on that but so that's the thing too right like it it you know, it is the craziest thing because some days she's clear as a bell right but then some days she's confused like from one second to the next and it's, it's just the way it goes, you know, and they had her on steroids for a while. They were trying to um, decrease the swelling in the brain, right? She did try to do a round of radiation um, when I first got here. They tried to do six treatments. Um, at the time, she had three tumors, right? Hi. And, and so they were um, trying, she did three sessions, one individual tumor each session and then she did three with all of them at once right and and when she was in the hospital with the pneumonia i spoke to the doctor because i was reading it and i'm like how is it possible that these tumors have grown like that didn't make sense to me the way that the doctor explains it to me is that there's a reason why they they wait like months high to do the um the official pet scan right because it could still be like the radiation could still be working like over time so i didn't you know it wasn't more concerning than than normal you know what i'm saying and then when you know she when we just took her in they wanted to do they did a chest x-ray and then they were sending her for an MRI of the brain. And that's how they, the doctor came in and said, you know, that they saw another, um, there's another spot on her left acoustic nerve. I mean, I'm sorry, optic nerve. So it's just, oh, well, I hope it goes okay. I'm telling you, I, I don't. I didn't have this, um, you know, with my dad, it was different because my stepmom took care of him. You know what I mean? With it, I didn't have like a front row seat to like everything and, and all the tests and all the treatments and all this other shit. And cancer is, cancer is like unpredictable. Um, it is completely unforgiving, right? Cancer doesn't give a shit that my mother was a good person. You know what I mean? Cancer doesn't give a shit what, you know, it, it just takes and takes and takes. It, it's truly awful, honestly. And it, it's really tough to see like the person that was, I don't, I, Burlington isn't far from here, but it's still another county. Maybe I'll look into it. it. It's it's truly crazy. You know what I mean? And and I'm like a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, you know? So like when I see the medical bills, I'm like, these fucks definitely have a cure. But why would they want to, you know what I mean? Well, and, and see, so Tammy, that's the thing with um with my dad, right? Like, and and I'll tell you this. A lot changed for my mom when um, it was the last radiation appointment and, and it was my brother and I going with her and, and, and we were talking about it and, and I, you know, she wasn't fighting for her. Nobody, nobody wants to live the way she's lived for the past seven months for them. 
right? Because you lose dignity and like, you need, you know what I'm saying? And, and my brother and I told her, you know, we were like, we don't want you to suffer, right? And, and after that conversation, a lot changed in her mind for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she became more open and would talk about death more. Um, you know, she tries to have these family meetings with like, you know, the five of us where we sit and just talk because I'm sure that it's really hard, you know, for her to face too. You know what I'm saying? And, um, so we made a list of things that, um, she wants to make videos for the kids, you know, college graduations, weddings, babies. First, she was going to write notes. And I said, you know, Ma, why don't you make videos? Because if there's one thing I wish I had, it was more videos like of my dad. You know what I'm saying? And so she made a list. Um, we did that a few days ago where like, I'm like, you need to make a list of like the things that you want to um, make sure that you hit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's next on the to-do list. So my mom is in, I wouldn't say she's not, um, I'm in Cape May County. Um, right. Like she's not, uh, religious, I guess you could say she's spiritual, you know what I'm saying? But not like, I don't know. So I don't know if that's, I wish that she would talk to a therapist, right? But I also understand, um, like, she doesn't feel too good about herself right now. You know what I mean? And although I think that it would be beneficial to her, and, and it might even be selfish and motive, because, like, I don't want to hear it all, you know? But she just, she hasn't. Well, I don't really push her high. I don't really push her. She wouldn't go. She, she's, and, and I understand, like, why she's depressed. You know what I mean? Like, I think that they go through the same things that we go through, right? And, and she's just been really, I don't know, sad, I guess you could say. And, and, and that's understandable, right? Um, She's also on a very high dosage of oxygen and she can't necessarily leave for long. Hold on one second. You have. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. sorry oh i'm sorry it's so different with your mom it really is i i, I mean for women i don't know if there's many men in here y'all can i tell you something my following for three years has been primarily women lately it's all men what is that <laughs> right it's we've been waiting we've been waiting it's been a while it's been a while but we've been waiting this place is awful where she lives is awful hi peen she was she was well because it's my little sister and i'm like what are you doing 
that they said it's gonna be two to three hours before they take her. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so before I left the hospital, they gave her Ativan. So because when that's, you know, the news isn't easy to hear, right? So they gave her Ativan before I left, but she doesn't normally take uh, anxiety meds. Right, like it's so different. It's so different. And I don't know, my son is like a mama's boy. Big time, big time, even still. But like my dad, I just feel like it was different, you know? And maybe it's because he wasn't, you know, like we didn't really have a great relationship until I, I grew up. That could be why, but oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I, I really, I don't know. I mean, I did, I, I did, I obviously, you know what I mean? Because I was my dad's only girl, I was his favorite, you know? But like, it's just different. And, and again, maybe it goes back to, I wasn't his primary caregiver, you know what I mean? So I didn't see a lot of it. This I'm seeing, you know? Right, I, that's what I'm, it, it's just, and I think that like a lot of people forget that like it isn't just my mom passing right i also become responsible for three other children so like who's got time for a breakdown not me <laughs> not me oh say so yeah i think that it's different i think that maybe everybody's different you know I, I'm, I'm not really sure you know but i'm just saying for me you know it's just really um it's just very different than my mom like my dad just everything about it is just different but i wanted to come in and get a quick live in but i'll see you more often on here because apparently you know i have to follow guidelines um I don't know who was asking earlier for the agency, but if you send me a DM, I will give you the information. Really? Right, me and my mom, we've always been really close, like my whole life, you know what I'm saying? It's just been, it's just been rough, you know? <laughs> Are you still here, Jen? <laughs> Um, but I know I I did I saw I'm I'm seeing them now. I appreciate that I appreciate that and and I, I I know like I don't say it enough but I am super grateful for the prayers because we definitely need them, you know. No, no Ash, it wasn't me. Charlie's mom, I hope that you're doing okay. I hope everybody's doing okay. Really, I know I I really haven't. Uh, I haven't really been around, but at least you'll get to see me three times a week, you know? Yeah, it's so funny. It's so funny. Um, I did talk to, are you still here, the, Jen? I did talk to Iggy today. Um, I just wanna know why it's such a big deal. They're pushing Iggy for receipts, but Izzy still hasn't posted any. It's been, what, six months? Seems a little weird to me, you know? So, I hope everybody has a good night. I am going to wash my face, take a shower, and I'll probably watch a movie with my brother. Anybody see anything good lately? Mm. Mm. I haven't, I don't know. I don't know what's good. I made my brother watch Bridesmaids the last time we watched a movie because he had never seen it. <laughs> and he was like, I'm like, how do you not find this fucking hilarious? Mm. And they always do, Mike. Always, 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 always. The truth always comes out. It, it's truly unfortunate. Listen, when we were in Mexico, I was like, you've never seen Bridesmaids. 
my brother is 19. He, his birthday is actually in a few weeks. He's about to be 20. He's not straight, right? So I was like, you've never seen Bridesmaids? And I made him watch it, and it's the funniest fucking thing. Um, I, Christy, I just can't get into... I can't get into it, you know? And maybe it's the situation... You know, I'm just really having a tough time with it, you know? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I guess maybe, maybe I'll put a tree up while she's in the hospital and get that done. Because I think that, maybe I'll think about it. But other than that, I hope everybody has a good night, and I will see you soon.